Hello everyone, JetChef here and today I would like to disassemble my own GWNQ1000 MB Marine Blue Golf Master Quad, sorry, quad Sensor G-Shock watch because I have an issue with the display panel as you guys can see, let me zoom in there one, uh, rows of pixels didn't light up so I'm gonna attempt to fix this on my own probably do some cleanup because I didn't clean the watch at all ever since I got it so that's probably the issues or probably the connector in there got damaged over this whole time I probably need to I don't know clean it up or most most likely just need to replace it since the warranty for this G-Shock watch has already expired either I like it or not I have to pay it to get it fixed so why not just try to fix it on my own first if I fail then I'll send it away for Casio to fix them because the fees are still the same I'm wearing the Golfman G-Shock watch by the way as a witness to this Golf Master series so um, I'm just gonna film everything probably add a little commentary as if there are anything interesting to share or talk about but other than that I'm just gonna leave you guys to have a look on your own how the build is so let's get started
here we are let's firstly have a look at all of the exterior parts that made up this GWNQ1000 Golf Master G-Shock watch I haven't disassembled the engine and this video happened to be too long already I probably need to uh, film this part only for the part 2 of the video so as you can see we have the strap over here two of them and they are quite soft like so and it is supported with this two uh, plastic part which is hard this one for the depth sensor this is for the WR20 bar so so far so good and this is the uh, wrist hook or shock absorber or whatever you call those I was expected to see something that is harder as this but apparently this part is soft there it is very nice really elastic uh, flexible rubber and you have four screws IP plated to black colorway to hold the strap into place with your own washers to avoid from getting loosened up and this four screws is the screw that's locking this back plate into place which is quite hefty and heavy really cool looking that's the piezoelectric speaker that's the o-ring at the back this will be the depth sensor guard hold on let me bring it in so this is the depth sensor guard basically water molecules will go in through these holes and it will go through here these holes too and as well and touch this sensor this is it so this is how the sensor look like apparently it is still the same as the barometer or atmospheric pressure sensor both of them are still the same but what makes them differ is where they are connected one over here one to the top and one to the side so the watch will calculate a different uh, density and thus tell us the depth and also at the same time calculate the atmospheric pressure using this guard here there it is this guard this is where the uh, air molecules was goes into and allow the watch to predict weather insanely accurate so pretty cool right and there's the o-ring to avoid water from sipping through the hard case through these holes over there and get into the module and apparently it is still pretty simple different similar as the mod master so in a way you still could use your mod master on the water because you could use this golf master on the water so pretty cool something that i just learned this is the back cushion and there's the two c clip that's holding this two button into place and apparently it only has a single o-ring i'm sorry they have two of them one in clear one in black down there this button is square shape right but the bezel is round shape there it is on this side where the crown is so whenever you are going to remove this bezel you're going to need to remove the button first unlike if you remove it from this side the but the slot is square and the button is square so you could easily remove it like that but you cannot remove the bezel this way because it is round shape this is the crown which is looking incredibly solid if i'm not the mod master will have some sort of uh, plastic part somewhere on there but this guy is just incredible look at all the details that this crown has it features a similar locking as the one on the Modmaster triple sensor model. If you missed that video, go have a look. And this is the guard for the atmospheric pressure sensor. The one on the Modmaster came in plastic. The one on the GPS Rangeman looked like that, also came in plastic. But well, the one for the Golf Master came in full stainless steel with beautifully hairline circular finishing. So that's something different. And this white part is just another guard for this metal base and this is the hard case and it is full resin metal buttons sapphire glass index ring and apparently has this metal part around it to support even further making it feels like almost it is metal this is the famous golf master ring apparently it came in two parts so you could swap those these two between other models if you wanted to this part is locked to the bezel just clip around there and this part is glued to the hard case like so this is the barometer ring this is sort of like a decoration very very beautiful so that's um see it all up for this golf master part one video stay tuned for part two and for now that sums it all thank you very much for watching this is josh f and